Um, my name is Mark. I lead the Genomics X Prize for the X Prize Foundation. Uh, a lot of you folks are probably familiar with the X Prize or the original Ansari Space X Prize, which was won a few years ago by Bert Rutan and Paul Allen for launching a man into space uh, two times in two weeks. It was a $10 million competition, very successful. Uh, and the foundation, after that point, realized uh, they might be onto a model that works. There's a lot of examples in history from the 1914 Longitude Prize uh, by the British or the uh, Orteg Prize, which was won by Charles Lindbergh. Uh, it was a $25,000 prize. He was the underdog and flew from New York to Paris and, and, and launched a whole new era of, of air travel. And so the X Prize Foundation decided, well, let's put together um, uh, a, uh, other prizes and, and, and radically changing, challenging uh, programs that will really challenge people to go after um, new goals and why not healthcare? So they put together the Genomics X Prize. It's a $10 million competition uh, to sequence 100 human genomes in 10 days for $10,000 or less per genome. Really rapid, cost-effective DNA sequencing technology. And it's really about personalized medicine, preventative, proactive healthcare. But to give you an example of, of how big a challenge this is and why it's important, let me tell you where the current state of the technology is. Um, you might remember the NIH and Craig Venter spent many years, many, many millions of dollars um, to map the first human genome. Well, the current technology probably would be uh, one of our teams, actually, uh, 454 recently did Jim Watson's genome, um, claimed to do it for about a million, as uh, probably optimistic, and in a few months. Um, but that's for one genome. We have to do 100 in 10 days. And uh, that's an enormous challenge based on the current technologies. The current technologies might get us down to about $100,000, um, but we're really trying to inspire people to go after brand new technologies that can allow us to solve this goal. And, and the reason we want to do this is if we could take populations of people that have been afflicted by a certain disease, let's say Parkinson's as one example, if you could take 1,000 Parkinson's patients and sequence their DNA and then correlate that data against the norm, you may learn what parts of of the DNA or the genome are responsible for Parkinson's, and the same could be true for many potential diseases. And then you, as an individual, one day hopefully will go to your doctor, just like any other blood test, have your full genome sequenced for, for less than uh, 10000 or, or really by that time it'll be $1,000 um, or less. And uh, in that result, he may say, well, you're at risk for Parkinson's, and hopefully by that time as well, uh, pharmaceutical companies will have targeted that gene and come up with therapies to help us uh, prevent that condition from ever happening in the first place. So that's really the goal of our Genomics X Prize. Um, uh, we think it's important to recognize what the, the teams are doing and to celebrate what they're doing. This is a, a theme that, that I've learned a lot from, from Dean Kamen's first uh, organization about you get what you celebrate. And that's really what the X Prize is trying to do here is, is celebrate the, the challenge that these teams are going after and, um, and, and really bring in, in a new era of personalized medicine. Thank you.